Spada. What's going on everyone? It's Chris from 416 Coffee and this is episode 41 of Coffee with Chris. Now, I did a video a little while ago showing you how to make coffee with a French press. Sorry, how to make cold brew coffee with a French press. Super simple, super easy. But this time I wanted to show you how to make cold brew coffee with a mason jar. So this is, there's like no barrier statue with this. Kind of anyone can make mason jar cold brew coffee. And all you're gonna need is a mason jar. You're gonna need somewhere to pour the finished product into when it's done. You're gonna need some freshly ground coffee. Now we're gonna be using a paper filter to filter this coffee. So you can actually go a bit finer than you would with the French press method. And you're gonna need some sort of paper filter. So this is um, obviously a Hario V60, but you could easily use, if you have a pot dripper, you can just take out that kind of canister, put the paper filter in it, pre-soak it and use that. And of course you need some cold water. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna use a one to seven ratio again. So one part coffee to seven parts water. So you can work that out um, depending on the size of your jar, how much you're looking to brew. I already pre-weighed this and pre-measured this. So one to seven is kind of the ratio you're looking for. So you're just gonna add your coffee in. Add your water. And now the coffee's kind of sitting on the top here, so what you're gonna do is just bolt this really on, make sure it's on there tight, and just give it a good shake. So once you feel like that's all mixed up, you're just gonna put this in your fridge and you're gonna let it brew for 24 hours. So now that your coffee's done brewing, it's time to filter this. So all you're gonna do is take the top off, take your filter, place it on top of the jar you're transferring it into and just slowly pour it through. All right, so once this is done dripping, all you're gonna do is take your filter, put it over here. I left just the sediment in the bottom here. So you, there's no point, I mean, you can if you really want to, you can pour the sediment on and extract whatever little bit of coffee, like kind of liquid is hanging out in there. But really it's just gonna add a bunch of time to the, the filtering process. So I just left the sediment at the bottom as much as I could. So this is your cold brew concentrate. So we're at about, I'd say that somewhere between the 16 and the 24 on here. So around 20. So you're going to want to double this with just your cold filtered water. So we'll pour this up to 40. There you have it. You just made cold brew with nothing but a mason jar. So test this out, let me know how it is. Cold brew is pretty expensive when you go out. So you can make incredible cold brew at home. You can try different coffees, different single origins, have some fun with it. Let me know if you like it in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching.